Hello, hello, this is Simone. I just finished my 28 Days of Love mini album and even though you can hear the construction workers on the other side of the street, I just want to flip through this mini album because I'm so proud I finished. So I'm going quick and just tell you what I did. It is, this is the February mini Daisy Dory. Um, and you can buy these and subscribe to them on their website and I took that apart punched used the staple holes as uh, holes and then added one more hole and then sewed my um, the binding just because I know that I'm bulking this up and I'm using this so much that sometimes the the staples come undone in the middle and the paper comes out so that's why I sewed this and then before I sewed it I actually added an acetate sheet as an outer cover of the cover and just you added it to the bind to the binding and yeah to the cover and bound it with the binding does that make sense I hope then I used pattern paper from the um, crate paper heart day collection it was the featured collection uh, in the April Lily shop in 2000 February and so I just had a lot of this stuff left and thought why not use it in here and make it easy on myself and use all of these things and so I don't have to look through all of my stash so that's what I did I added the title on the outside of the acetate sheet and it says 28 days of love this is a pattern paper that I cut to size and glued it on the front and I did the same with another pattern paper on the back and then I just dove right in and I actually think I kept it pretty low-key I wrote down the prompts I love someone I text and that's um, yeah and then I added some um, die cuts from the die cuts sheet that from the die cuts that I had left over and I also had these um, smile heart smiley stickers from the heart day collection and I made sure that I put one of them on each of the prompts so that's the cohesiveness that is going to be there so I love someone I text I took the a group photo of all of my siblings and myself from for 20 years ago 25 years ago um, and then just lettered seven this title and then done next page I love something I do every day Instagram I put my Instagram name I took a screenshot of the um, app and that was it and I also used what did I use where's the stamp set I used this number stamp set from Coco Daisy and stamped all the numbers 1 through 28 with this stamp set. Next one, I love my favorite color, which are shades of blue. And so I just put down blue things that I had in my stash. There I messed up something, so I added this heart and stamped a 4. I love my favorite place, which is Santa Cruz. Added some washi tape, photo, heart. Oops, I'm missing a heart right here. one here yes I love technology FaceTime FaceTiming with my parents and I wrote a little bit more about this but that's yeah I didn't really write a lot most of the prompts but sometimes I did um, I love the weather blue sky tiny white clouds and sunshine and then I just added a Sun that I found in my stash this Simon bunny from Coco Daisy cloud a stamp the heart I love something that I was that was given to me my birthday presents and then I just wrote what I got for my birthday I love someone far away which is my new planner friend Anna I love someone not so far away which is my new German friend Tina I love someone I email this is my host family um, when I visited the United States I 
love my fav my favorite number which is four I love something old which are oh I have two prompts but that doesn't matter these um, socks that I made and I had a story to this which is that I made the one one of the socks and my mom had to knit the other one because I didn't want to continue I love happy mail so I just put some German stamps uh, a stack of happy mail and this um, business card these are my nephews and I have a niece now but she wasn't born then um, I left this page free because empty because I really like the way it looks and I knew that I had some wiggling space and so I just left it free I love my Valentine which is a snapshot of my husband I love my favorite letter M he's my his name is Michael so M is my favorite letter <laughs> I love a place where I have traveled which is Lucken which is in Denmark I love something I take photos of leaves I love something I read or I read Harry the Harry Potter series I love my favorite boys which are Linus Joshua and Theo I love something new the I bought several travelers notebook I think you noticed that um, from in a mystery sale from Foxy Fix and I really love that I have so many to pull from and now I just took a picture of my deck I love my favorite sports teams and yeah I am in love with the teams that my sons are on when they are playing baseball so this season this year it was the Yankees and the A's but the season is almost over now I love something I drink which is cafe latte and I just took a photo that I had I had printed that I might scrapbook and it was a picture of this cupcake and the a cafe latte and so I just stuck it down here no need to print another photo I love someone I spend time with which is family and friends and the kids in my children's classroom when I help and volunteer I love somewhere I go for lunch which is City Lights Espresso and then I also love something I listen to and these are podcasts via, via Podbean and I just listed the ones that I'm really digging right now and last page I love my favorite season which is spring and I also love something old again I told you I had more than one prompt here hello I have to cut this out I can't find here I love something old um, I really don't care there is, was a photo that I saw that I had left over and I thought I want to journal about this somewhere and so I just added I didn't like the prompt for day 28 so I just added my own and that's okay nobody really notices and nobody really cares so I love something old again maybe I should just add part two right there so and I'm done so that's the last page and I'm done with my mini album and I really really love how this turned out I want to do more of these kinds of tiny albums um, I didn't think that I would take so long for me to do this however um, there were several things that I didn't consider when I started this exact challenge I usually waited for Elisa to uh, post the prompt for the day. There was no list in the beginning and I think this would have probably helped me most with this challenge because then I could have seen that some of the prompts wouldn't work for me and I could have started thinking about uh, what to replace them with early on in the process as well as when I have the list early in the month I can start thinking about what kind of photos do I want to use and uh, with having a prompt each and every day you have to repeat this process each and every day and sometimes I was just not in the mood for that so yeah 
another thing that totally caught me by surprise, which is actually so logic, but I didn't think of that, was that some of the prompts just wouldn't work for me. And instead of making them my own, I just uh, put it off and thought, maybe I will, if I think hard enough, one day I will find the perfect prompt. So that was another thing that, yeah, just didn't work for me. Um, not because of this specific challenge, but because I just wasn't prepared well enough. I think if I had made my own prompt for 28 days, this would have been much, much better. That is why. What I really would love to do is a mini book, like 30 facts about myself. That was, would be really fun. And I really want to start that pretty soon. Maybe at the end of the summer, we will see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are inspired to try something like that yourself. I, even though I had hurdles, I really had fun doing this and especially doing it in this low key kind of way where I didn't really, um, I think it is low key. You might not, but I do think, um, where I just wrote this down, didn't really think about much and moved on to the next page. I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye.